Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows and doing something a little differently today. I'm going to take you all the way to the Netherlands to visit a virtual reality arcade. This place is a gaming warehouse where you can enjoy 200 square meters of virtual reality goodness. But before diving in, I've got to say thank you to VRGH for catering for me and for being so nice. It was an awesome day. So a big, big thank you. If you're into virtual reality and you visit the Netherlands or Amsterdam, go check this place out. If you like what you see here, because I do recommend it. I was always the kind of person that thought going to virtual reality arcades was a bit... I was always on the back foot as I have the experience at home, but I've got to recommend going to do this, especially with a friend. They just bring so much more to the VR experience that you can't do at home. This venue also does corporate events, team building exercises, where you can rent out the entire venue and your colleagues can play virtual reality. Or they can take a step further and they can bring virtual reality to you so you don't even have to make your way over to the arena. I'll leave links down below to their website because they go into much greater detail about the ins and outs of those experiences. So let's go fly to the Netherlands and visit this arcade. So we are here in Amsterdam and we are visiting the virtual reality gaming house arena. It has a ton of amazing virtual reality experiences and something a little special that I'm pretty excited to share with you. Let's go in. the traditional virtual reality section, the virtual reality arcade block where they are rocking Vive Pros and the Vive Ones. They are being very hygienic, there are some pieces of cloth over the headset so once one person used it you can rip it off because you don't want to share germs. At this station you'll be playing the traditional games such as Beat Saber, Super Hot, Serious Sam, some Pavlov and they've even got an escape room on where you can play as a duo here and spend 40 minutes trying to escape. So let's dive in, let's play some games. So the first station in the combi section here is the traditional virtual reality experiences where you can enjoy some epic Steam virtual reality games such as Serious Sam, Pavlov, there's also an escape room which is great for team building or cooperative experiences. There are four of these stations with a cushioned wall so you don't have to worry about hitting the wall, you're going to be perfectly fine. For those of you worried about hygiene, they do have covers on everything so it can easily be washed, stuff, wearing gloves when touching items as well, so you don't have to worry there. We first dove into Elvin Assassin, a co-op experience where you have to hold down your fort from goblins and dragons, and of course a couple of jumps and terrible kicks never go amiss. <laughs> The VR stations were good fun. The way it's been laid out, it's perfect so you don't interrupt the gameplay of each other and allow yourself to be immersed in the game without worrying about hitting stuff. 
But that's just one of the experiences that they have at this arcade. There are more to come. Let's go check them out. Uh, we got uh, standing stations here. We just have a headset on and controls in your hand. You can play a lot of different games together uh, or separately. Uh, we got racing stations where you can uh, race against uh, each other or with each other. Uh, you can get your best lap times. And you can also do free roam. Uh, where you're roaming around with a backpack on, uh, sensors on your hands and feet, and a gun in your hand. There are also extra activities while you're waiting around. There's pool, there's foosball, air hockey, and a punching bag to vent some stress. There's also a nice outside area where if you're in large groups and you need to call off, you can sit down out here, enjoy the swing. And if you've got work events, apparently you're allowed food trucks out there. So if there's food and there's a food truck there, I could spend all day at this place. So this is the driving arena. This is the section where you'll be playing the racing games and they've got Project Cars 2 up on there and they have these ridiculous RC rigs. So it actually is like you're sitting in an actual vehicle. And for even more immersion, they've got these huge Thrustmasters that have realistic, really strong feedback on that steering wheel. So when you crash and you lose control, you have to hold on tight just to deepen the immersion a bit. And they also, are using the best, the Valve Index. And the reason for this is if people have motion sickness, the high refresh rate of this is supposed to help with that. And also for a racing game when you're traveling at high speeds, a high refresh rate is also going to be beneficial. And the field of view, which I noticed when I was playing this, with the Valve Index having a wider FOV, when you're focusing on driving, your peripherals are actually covering, you're seeing everything going past you in your peripheral vision. Um, and that was fantastic, that was a great experience. Over the moon with that, that was brilliant. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> <Was that you? laughs> now I gotta get past me. It's like, it's like Le Mans. Come on, I keep slowing down for you. Stop it. Come on, get off the grass. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking in my right. rear view mirror. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> Gosh, it is hard to get No! <laughs> I kill you! <laughs> this is so good. It's so tense, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh my gosh, I got thrown from yeah, the Yeah, yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a horrible feeling. Pedal to the metal. Oh, where are you? About to overtake you. No, maybe not. Hey. <laughs> oh. How are you so good at this already?
Project Cars 2 was awesome in this area. There's also a scoreboard where you can keep track of the lap times and there are four stations where you can race against three other people for the top spot. You can also swap out, take breaks if you're in larger groups, but having these rigs, it was awesome. Feeling the resistance when turning with that Thrustmaster, having the pedals, being able to use the accelerator, the high refresh rates because of the index, you can really notice that smooth motion and just having a racing chair added something to the experience. But there's even more to look at, so let's go over to the arena space for the room scale free roaming games with gaming PCs in a backpack on your back. You can just walk around, uh, duck, stand up, uh, just go wherever you want because you don't have a cable in your head like with the Vive or the Vive Pro. Uh, you just got a cable uh, that's attached to your computer, uh, but now you got a backpack on you uh, where you can just walk around and the backpack is your computer and they get full bloody tracking with uh, hands and feet. So the first one is a larger room scale experience. You can see them setting up steam here. Something that we can't really enjoy at home, especially where I live because the space just isn't available. So we play a zombie game where we team up and have to hold off the undead until the morning, until the helicopter gets here and saves us. There was also a robot experience where we had to hold off the robots from stealing a diamond. <laughs> HPZ, they'll be happy to know. And maybe you can hold this one for a second. Yes, yeah, so you can put it on. Oh, it's got a VR cover on it as well. Yeah, nice. Oh wow, survive the night. Nah, <laughs> I got a flashlight. You'll, you'll, you'll be good, you'll be good. <laughs> okay. Bingo. You can get it from the table. Woo. Get off my Kayla. board. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. First time doing the full free roaming, not tethered, with high end visuals in virtual reality, and this was an experience. <laughs> Round two? Yeah. yeah. Round two? Okay, so this arena also offers full free roam body tracking experiences. Unfortunately, on the day that I arrived, they were having issues that were being fixed, but I was not able to try out the full arena scale virtual reality experience as I only had to spend the day there before I had to fly back home. But I do put on the gear and give you an idea of what it would be like if you were to visit. There is a full video of this experience, though, if you were interested, down below in the description so you do know what to expect. The way this is achieved, they put sensors and PCs in the 
ceiling going all along the warehouse. This tracks the devices you have on your hands and your feet, allowing for the full body tracking free roam experience. You also have a gaming PC on your back, powering high-end visuals into your headset so you're completely untethered. And to top it off, you get a huge rifle that has built-in recoil simulation, so when you're firing a shot, you're going to actually feel it. Here you can play PvE cooperatively or you can do PvP, perhaps if you're in a large group or you have a grudge against your boss. Perfect time to... That was my experience at the virtual reality gaming house in Amsterdam. I do recommend a visit. They do have a smaller warehouse as well in the Amsterdam central area, but the arena experience, the full body tracking running around experience is at this arena place, which isn't too far. I think it took me about 10 minutes in an Uber. And as I said, if you've been hesitant about virtual reality arcades before, do go visit one. They offer experiences that you can't have at home. And if you're a virtual reality enthusiast, you don't want to miss out on this. So thank you again to VRGH for taking care of me. I had so much fun. That's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, getting caught up on the latest and greatest in the virtual reality space. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. I'd like to keep doing them in the future. Subscribe to the channel. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.